Julia Roberts Written by Nancy Taylor Julia Roberts What do people know about her? She's smart and beautiful. She's a famous actress, and people love her movies. She's a superstar. And people always remember her smile. This big smile brings light into a room. Suddenly, people are happy. But what is the story behind the smile? How does a little girl from a quiet town find the big lights of Hollywood? Julia Fiona Roberts is born in Atlanta on October 28, 1967. Her brother, Eric, is born in 1956, and her sister, Lisa, arrives in 1965. The three children live in a house with much love. But there are problems, too. Julia's father and mother, Walter and Betty, love the theater. They start a school for young actors in a big house in Atlanta. They work all day and night, but there's never much money. In 1972, Walter and Betty get a divorce. Lisa and Julia live with their mother in Smyrna, Georgia. Eric lives with his father in Atlanta. Lisa and Julia don't often see Eric and their father. But Walter loves them and writes many letters to them. Then, in 1977, he suddenly dies. At 12 years old Julia has her beautiful smile. But behind the smile she is not always happy. From 1982 to 1985, Julia is happy at Campbell High School. She likes games, dances, music, movies, and people. She has many friends, but not many boyfriends, and she has fun. She's a good student, too. Julia finishes school and moves to New York. Eric and Lisa live there, too. Eric's an actor. Maybe Julia can be an actress. Julia has a good time in New York. She goes places with Eric. She meets some important people. She doesn't go to actor's school, but she looks for roles in TV and in movies. In 1986, Eric has a role in a new movie, Blood Red. The director is looking for an actress for a small role. Eric says, My sister can be my sister in this movie. Blood Red is the first movie with Julia Roberts. In 1987, Julia gets work in two movies. She's good in satisfaction and she meets her first important boyfriend, the actor, Liam Neeson. He's in satisfaction, too. They fall in love and move to California. Then Julia gets the big role of Daisy in Mystic Pizza. She has fun with the actors, and many people like the movie. Now Hollywood directors know the name Julia Roberts. In 1988, director Herb Ross wants Meg Ryan for Steel Magnolias, but she's making When Harry Met Sally. Sally Field talks to Herb Ross about Julia. In the movie, Sally is Julia's mother. Now the two women are friends. People love Steel Magnolias. Julia is Shelby, a sick young woman. She wins an award for her role. She falls in love again, too, with actor Dylan McDermott. In 1989, Disney starts a new movie, a love story about a beautiful woman, Vivian, Julia Roberts, and a businessman, Richard Gere. Pretty Woman makes $450 million. People watch the story and fall in love with Vivian. She is beautiful, smart, 
and fun. Before Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts is an interesting young actress. After it, she's a superstar. Every director in Hollywood is calling her. Julia starts Flatliners in October 1989 and falls in love with Kiefer Sutherland, an actor in the movie. Julia and Kiefer have fun. They go to bars. They drive to new places. Julia buys an expensive car and a big house. They talk about a big Hollywood wedding for June 14, 1991. On June 11, Julia stops the wedding. She goes to Ireland with a new boyfriend, Jason Patrick, Kiefer's very good friend. The year 1991 is difficult for Julia. She makes three movies. Sleeping with the Enemy is a big hit, but Dying Young and Hook are not. She makes Hook for director Steven Spielberg. Later he says on TV, I can't work with Julia Roberts again. Julia can't understand this. Julia stops work for about two years. Hollywood asks, where's our famous superstar? Julia is smiling again in 1993. She gets $8 million for the role of Darby Shaw in the Pelican Brief. The movie is a big hit and makes $200 million. Julia is back. Then, she falls in love again. In New Orleans she meets Lau Lovett, a tall, quiet, 35-year-old musician. Julia and Lyle's wedding is about one month later, on June 27, 1993. Julia is beautiful in a white dress and no shoes. Julia is Mrs. Lyle Lovett for only 21 months. She and Lyle are in love, but they are never in the same place. They get a divorce in 1995. Julia is very unhappy. Julia thinks about movies again, but 1995 to 6 aren't good years for her. In Mary Riley, Julia has no smile, and she isn't beautiful. Michael Collins, with Liam Neeson again, is slow and serious. The movies don't make much money. People like Julia Roberts in smart love stories. In 1997, she makes My Best Friend's Wedding. Many people buy tickets for this movie. It's a big hit and it makes $275 million. Then Julia is in New York in October 1997 and she meets a new boyfriend, actor Benjamin Bratt. She's with him for four years. Do they talk about a wedding? Maybe one day. Julia says. But there is no wedding. From 1997 to 2001, people love Julia in Conspiracy Theory, Stepmom, Notting Hill, Runaway Bride, with Richard Gere again, Aaron Brockovich, and The Mexican. Some good actors get $20 million for a movie. Julia Roberts is the first $20 million actress. She's famous, but she's unhappy about her brother, Eric. Eric and Julia have many old problems, and they don't talk. And the winner is Julia Roberts for her role in Aaron Brockovich. It's March 25, 2001, the night of the Academy Awards. I love the world. I'm very happy, says Julia. And tomorrow? Who knows? But today, she looks at her first Oscar and smiles her superstar smile.